Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, MacGirl25 and Tanetta. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my New Year's resolution for the year in regards to makeup. And it is called Makeout 2014. So, um, during the year of, of 2013, I did quite a bit of shopping uh, with in regards to makeup products. So I took a look at my collection and I just, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff. And I know for you beauty gurus out there who have probably twice as more than I do, um, props to you. I mean, some people are professional makeup artists and, you know, they, they use it all. However, um, I do my own makeup. I, I'm not a professional. Th these are my own opinions based on what I use as a consumer. Um, I basically learned how to do makeup through the years of practicing and practicing and watching other gurus on YouTube over the years as well. So I mean, it didn't come all at once to me. Um, what I don't, I don't wear makeup majority of the time when I'm filming because usually when I'm filming it's um, either I'm at home, I'm not going anywhere, um, I came back from the gym, uh, things that I wouldn't normally wear my full face makeup to. So um, it kind of gives you an idea. I do wear makeup every day when I go to work but when I'm home I kind of like to get have my skin breathe a bit. So. Um, it's just when I'm filming, I, I'm, I might not be wearing makeup. And I usually let my skin breathe when I'm at home because I am very acne prone. My skin type is very acne prone. I have oily combination skin. So that kind of doesn't help the situation either. Anyways, going off topic. Uh, we are here to talk about my Makeout 2014, um, I guess you could say project pan, whatever you want to call it. So this year, for the year 2014, from January 1st, 2014 to December 31st, 2014, I'm allowing myself 20 makeup items through the entire year. And these makeup items that I'm allowed to uh, purchase throughout the entire year, only 20, okay, um, they include uh, any color cosmetics, so eyeshadows, pigments, um, eye palettes, palettes in general, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, lipsticks, lip liners, eyeliners, eye primers, foundation, powder, mascara, colored nail polish, and any repurchases of any items that, that are under these categories that I really like. Sorry guys, I'm looking down because my, my sheet is here. Um, so I have... I have a little contract that I created. I have 20 items here. As you can see, I purchased already two foundations on January the 8th. And those two foundations were the Smashbox HD and the Clinique uh, Stay Matte. Stay Matte? Clinique Matte something or other foundation. Um, so those are the two I purchased. So I already, I already uh, filled in two uh, line items there. Um, so I have, I have a, a limit of 20, uh, placeholders. Now, there are some exclusions, uh, only because there are certain things that I run out of on a monthly basis that would be impossible to include here, but they're not, um, they're not color cosmetics. And there are some minor exclusions in relation to color cosmetics, and I'm going to tell you what they are. So the exclusions are nail polish remover, the top coat and base coats for when you apply your manicure. I do my manicures every two to three days, guys, and my top coat and base coats, I go through like water. So um, those are excluded. Any Back to Mac products. So uh, Back to Mac, if you don't know what that is, you have six Mac empties and you go and re return those empties for a free lipstick, uh, lip gloss, sorry, lip gloss or eyeshadow. Um, so that is not included as well because it's free. I'm not paying for it. I'm returning empties and they're giving me a free product. Um, 
hair care is excluded as well, um, and that's including hair dye, conditioner, shampoo, and hair masks. Um, they're not color cosmetics. They are for the face. It's for hair. I go through that all the time because I do have a lot of grays that come in on a monthly basis. I gotta get those babies colored in on a, on a monthly basis, so those have to be excluded. Um, also, what's excluded is skincare, such as face washes, face and body creams, so like mo uh, body moisturizers, uh, like face moisturizers, serums, exfoliate, um, face exfoliators, um, natural skincare ingredients, such as, you know, natural oil or oils, any clays or toners that, you know, you use. So like clay masks, natural oils, such as um, sweet almond oil coconut oil, uh, castor oil, those type of things are excluded from this particular uh, project, if you may say. So, um, also that's excluded toothpaste, toothbrushes, and any redemptions of my shopper's optimum points. So here in Canada, we have Shoppers Drug Mart, um, and you know, the States has CVS, um, Target, uh, what is the other one you guys have? Alta. Alta has points, I think, too, right? So um, those are equivalent to our Canadian Shoppers Drug Mart. And our Shoppers Drug Mart has a point system. So every every dollar you get 10 points. When you reach it to a certain amount of points, you can redeem uh, for, for free items. So I choose to use my optimum points for cosmetics. And those will not be included in my... 20 items because they're optimum points so they're not they're not me spending actual money on the product and the last item that is um, excluded is um, gift cards for my birthday uh, or for Christmas I usually get gift cards uh, in relation to those special occasions so that I can you know, pamper myself, whoever may get, give me a gift, my boyfriend, my parents, my grandparents, my brothers, anybody, any gift cards I may get, um, those are excluded as well because, um, hell, I don't want to waste a Sephora gift card just because I'm doing this little project thingy here. Um, so that is pretty much it on exclusions. Now I had my girlfriend sign it with me, so I signed my um, I signed it, and then my girlfriend signed it at the end of December, and I've been following it since. And the purpose of this, guys, is just um, I have way too much makeup. I don't have enough storage space for it. Um, yeah, you know, I could go out and buy a storage unit for it. I do have a storage unit, and that's even now looking like it's throwing up cosmetics because I don't have enough room. And I just find that it's a little bit, it's a little bit much for me. I'm only one person. I can only get through so much makeup in a year. Um, you know, it's not necessary that I have six bronzers. It's not necessary that I have, like, you know, ten foundations or three five primers or you know a kajillion eyeshadows it's just it's not realistic to me I mean I wear makeup every day I use it every day yes but I mean realistically one or two bronzers is is great to have on the rotation one or two foundations is great to have on rotation I mean think about it you need one foundation for the winter one foundation for the summer that's really all you need um, you know, if you have a, if you have powders, you know, maybe one or two powders, you know, one for when you're really tanned in the summer and one when you're a bit lighter in, in the winter time. Um, lip, lip glosses, lipsticks. I have so many lipsticks that I can't even, lip products in general, I can't even count. Um, I, I have, I have eye palettes that are coming out of my yin yang because I had a collectible phase with them. So I do love my eye palettes and I think eye palettes are the best way to get your your bang for your buck your bang for your buck because you're getting, you know, let's say 16 eyeshadows and you're paying $50 for the palette and individually they the shadow the eyeshadow costs $20 a pop. So yeah, in those senses you are saving money, but in the in a reality of it all, 
I mean, you don't need all these single eyeshadows, all these, all these palettes at once. Like, it's great to have, but I'm trying to lighten up my load a little bit just because I don't live on my own. I don't have the space. I live with my parents. Um, so until I, I actually move out, uh, it's the space is very minimal and I'd like to kind of keep it a little more airy and refreshing so we're gonna try and get through as many products this year as possible to uh, to complete and finish and move on um, I do have a lot of um, quite a bit of like body lotions but I go through body lotions every few weeks because I'm constantly um, moisturizing every time I shower the days the days that um, I shower in the morning and then at nighttime I moisturize again um, so I'm moisturizing basically twice a, twice a day uh, my, my skin does get very dry in the winter time and I do tan in the winter time so um, that's another reason. I also tan in the summer, but I'm outside tanning, which is a different type of dryness in the skin. So um, I'm looking looking forward to uh, bringing down my stash a bit, keeping my essentials uh, minimal and to a certain level. Of course, I'm going to have a backup of something if I know I run through it quickly because then, you know, you don't want to be having to rush out at you know eight o'clock in the morning to go pick up mouthwash because you ran out or something like that um, but those are just essential items so we are going to see how I go this year um, my girlfriend Vanessa she is um, on roll with me with this particular project so she knows what's going on she signed my contract as a witness and she is going to be helping me out on um, keeping to the contract rules so um, as you see I've already purchased two foundations and um, those foundations are going to last me for a while uh, normally in the summertime I don't use as much foundations as I do BB cream so that will be um, easier to work with in the winter time I use a little bit more foundation it's a better coverage and it just helps with the um, moisture intake because of such a dry cold uh, type of weather outside so yeah I've already finished two items now I not finished I've already filled in two items in my list so I have 18 more spots to go um, hopefully by the end of the year they're not going to be all filled in so let's just hope that's the case um, I mean I shouldn't have to unless it's like a, an actual palette that I really really love and that you know I just I asked for it for Christmas or my birthday other than that I don't think I might I I will need that much I, I have a lot of eyeliners concealers um, I do have uh, quite a bit of, um, what am I talking about now? Bronzers is what I wanted to say. So um, it should last me for pretty much the year. So I'm actually really excited. Um, if I can finish this year and not have the entire list filled, that'll be a definite thumbs up for me. Um, and of course, you know, the gift cards for my birthday and Christmas are exceptions because they were gifts to me and they're not out of my own pocket so that's pretty much the basis of it I'm not going to spend money out of my own pocket on these color cosmetic items because I already have enough as it is so with all that said guys I want to say thanks for watching um, please keep in touch rate and subscribe it's free I love all my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys for coming back and watching every time I post something. Uh, I'm going to try and post something um, more often than not. I'm trying to kind of get into the swing of things. I joined the gym, so I'm trying to work that out as well. It's a bit hard to balance both, but I'm still trying to figure it out. So kind of give me some time to figure it out. And other than that, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog, macgirl25.blogspot.ca. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.